Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana's channel, my name is Shanks and today we're gonna take a look into the Isengard faction in the Legends of the Third Age mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 1.06 against a hard army, of course on the beautiful map Falls of Isen, why? Because we are playing Isengard. The White Hand, we're gonna try our best to make the White Wizard Sauron proud. And hopefully we will be able to take a look into every single change they included into this new Isengard. We're gonna build two furnaces. And we have of course the mighty Urukai, the strongest, the fastest and the best looking swordsman in the game. And we will be using the, uh, not losing them, using them to grab those settlements first. And normally in a normal PvP match you would be using your Urukai to wall check first to see the enemy faction if they are good factions like Gondor or Rohan or the evil factions like Isengard or Mordor. But Against a hard army, we don't really need to do that. Okay, let's build this one. And now we can wall check just to show you guys. Uh, okay, we are against the evil faction. The mouse, the cursor is not jumping around as you can see. That means he has no walls. And with, the no with no walls, you can only be evil faction. And PowerPoint wise, we have of course the war chant. But it's nerfed here as far as I can see. Only 25% more damage instead of 50. So your Urukai are gonna still hit like a truck. But they won't be as tanky as a truck anymore. Let's build oh, what is happening. He is trying to creep this with the... It's a mirror match. It's a mirror match. I see you. Let's use Warchant then. Let's help him a little bit. Let him tank this a bit more. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I would like to get some uh, heroes only first. If I can afford, of course. But with that, I believe it's going to be almost impossible for us uh, to actually keep the meals outside protected. Which is of course the primary resource income for the for the evil faction like Isengard. Uh, I don't know if you have time to kill this in time. But we are able to stall time at least, that's nice. Would be amazing if we can creep this layer because then we get the money at least, that's nice. But we have not many units remaining on the field and I believe the warriors are gonna be respawning over time. And that's gonna be very soon. Oh nine, no, never mind, we're gonna get the money at least. Oh, we also get a level 2. Oh, that's so unlucky. That's so unlucky. And the Warchant is going to be gone very soon. I, I'm not sure if we can kill this Warc anymore. We have now full base of Furnaces. Furnaces are tankier than Slaughterhouses. Very important. That's why I'm building them. And also they are giving us the Steel bonus. Um, which, by the way, is going to reduce the cost of our uh, upgrades. We will need some towers now. Because I see units coming. Urukai and Vipen of Dunland. Let's cancel this to get the money back. And let's build some more towers in the front side at least. And I'm sorry for my voice because my voice is kind of... I don't know what's happening. I'm not even, you know, sick or something. But my voice is being gone for every couple of minutes. Sorry for that, guys. So let's build some more towers. Let's beat them in. And he's going to feed us some more power points, which is nice. Let's body block with the Urukai. This way he can simply go to the towers. And the towers are going to be... The white are actually sexy. I mean, not really. Look at the picture. But you know what I'm saying? Like, they are kind of fast. I like I like the fast-moving units. Okay. Let's escape. Beat them in. They are also not dying quite fast. And, uh, yeah, you know, this mod feels overall a bit faster. Okay, we have the money now for Sharku, Lourdes, but uh, if we can afford it, I would like to save. Wait a second, let's demolish this in time to get the money. Let's go for Ugluk first. A recruit to Urukai who captured Mary and Pippin. Uh, very expensive actually. I know Ugluk from other mods like Shadow and Flame for example or BFME 2 Rise of the Witch King mods. They have also Ugluk included in almost every single one of them. But... That's the first time I see him really overpriced, like 2,000 plus resources for a, for Ugluk. He needs to be extremely good, am I right? I mean, we're gonna figure out very, very soon. And then we get uh, Sharku next, and with that being said, we will be covering both the new heroes Isengard has. And But we're gonna also take a look into Lourdes and Saruman, of course, just to see if they are changed as well. U Ugluk, uh, Bloodlust with level 1, okay? That's a huge army, actually, holy moly. Let's use it to deal more damage. It's like Carnage, pretty much. We have also now our Sharku on the field. This guy is already level 3. And he's leveling up like crazy, Ugluk too. But we lost a tower, unfortunately. But it's fine, it's fine. You wanna fight, L uh, Sharku? Wanna fight? 
They have also level 2 now. Oh, we can also use whole ability. That's nice. It's also available with level 1. Don't run away. Oh, this guy is cheating. Oh, he's using even Palantir. Did you guys hear the Palantir usage? Palantir is also giving you the uh, movement speed bonus. As you can see, we of course, as predicted, we lost our settlements outside, but that's kind of okay-ish. I mean, uh, it's, it, it is how it is. Uh, we will need this because we will need industry to get 100% more resources from our furnaces. And also, you know, not many, not everyone knows that. With industry, your production or resource buildings, in this case, your furnaces are going to be able to level up a bit faster. So please keep that in mind. Lords, please do something. Don't lose the furnace with the industry buff on it. Okay. We have four riders now. Oh, they are also permanent. Be careful, please. Don't die. Okay. Uh, the, the summons, when you summon something, um, see it. Oh, they are, they are chasing us. There is also... Please. There is also Ugluk. How much money does he have? Okay, nice. He's dead. It's okay-ish. No! Okay, let's... You peel back. You peel back. You peel back. Okay, we will need Saruman, but he's expensive. We, can we summon something? The answer is... Yeah, we can summon the Orc Battalion, I guess. How many orcs are coming? Yeah, but we are in trouble, guys. We are in trouble. Look, look, has to be careful. Kill the berserker first, please. I mean, that's crazy. How many units he has? Holy guacamole. Uh, yeah, Lourdes has also a different picture. Ugluk has to be careful. Ugluk, come on. Uh, I I don't think we can save for uh, Saruman any soon. Okay, let's build some towers. Let's beat them a little bit. Uh, this is on cooldown blood last. We can't, without that, we can't really fight. Okay, in a choke point like that, maybe we can fight. Let's use this. I want to I want to keep them if I can away from our towers. This way, our berserker especially has to be killed. That's the main target. Okay. Level 7. Oh, nice. It's like a Atelas thing. I like that. Okay, he's actually quite strong, this Ugluk. I like that, I like that, I like that. Okay, now Sharko can also do something, maybe. Yeah, we will need a miracle now. Uh, but never give up, never surrender. Lord, pin him down. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. He ran it down pretty much. You will need to revive him though. Even though I would not like to waste 900 for that, but I need to. Okay. 30% uh, more damage, 40% more movement speed. That's nice. That's nice actually. Because look how fast he is now. Holy moly. Now it makes sense that he's so expensive. We also need to kill this guy. Carnage with level 3, am I right? Yeah, level 3. We need to kill some units before anything else. Ugluk has to heal up. Let's use industry one once again. We are desperately... We can't We can't go for it. Okay, he's level 3 now. That's nice. Lords, you will cripple him down. We also have... Yeah, oh, never mind. This, this one is from the summon. You have 10 power points almost collected. Uh... I don't know. I don't know what we are supposed to do. Let's use Carnage to kill this wild man. They are so fast. I mean, Field of Fire is kind of <laughs> doesn't make any sense, let's be honest, because we have no Lammer Mills outside. But we have now the Pillage, which is very nice. Pillage is good. Ugluk, come on, heal up a bit faster. We need, we need to kill this Berserkers first, guys. We need to kill this Berserkers first. Please kill him. Okay. What is this? This is a hero? Yeah, oh, he's also level 7. Are you kidding me? Cripple him down. Oh, he's too short in the towers. Kill him, please. This is so hard. This is actually really, really hard. Long march. Can we summon something? Yeah, we can summon. Is this a summon? 
Yeah, summon cave trolls, please. <laughs> oh, Ballista, this is intense. This is way harder than normal BFME one. Trust me, guys. Way harder. Where is Sharku? Sharku? Oh, I was not paying attention. Actually, you are able to summon quite a lot of trolls, which is really nice. Maybe we can do something with them. They are not dealing too much damage to the siege weapons, though. Need to say that's not very good. Okay, you peel back. What is level 10? Decapitate. Deals high damage to a single target, okay? More towers, more towers, more towers, more towers. More towers. Let's kill this lamer meal, please. Oh, we need to kill this. Lord's help. Let's re replace the furnaces. There are still some units. Do something about it. Okay, do something about this, maybe. Or oh, they're gonna be gone soon, right? No, no, actually, they have still a lot of time left. That's nice. Okay, Ooglug is sealing up over time. Please attack. I hate that about PFME games that the units are so extremely damp, you know? That they are almost doing nothing by themselves. But this game is kind of intense. I like that. We will need some crossbow man though for the defense. Hopefully that's gonna be enough. Uh, we can't afford to save a rain of fire. What is this devastation? Actually, we will need devastation, guys. It's kind of bad that we have to invest so many power points for that, but we need the money. But we have a lot of time left with the trolls. That's nice. Let's build a lumber mill. And even if we can keep it for a couple of seconds, it's kind of fine. Sharku is back in the business. Let's use the Warp Rider Summon immediately. Because it's permanent, so we can use them multiple times, you know? Okay. So we have this Lamy Mill, that's nice. We have to fill the fires, of course, which is increasing the money by 100%. Maybe we can kill this Lamy Mill too. The trolls are by far not as strong as they are normally from Mordor in BFME 1 on the patch 1.06. But we are also able to summon quite a lot of them, which is great. You stay. Just buy this mill. To keep the opponent a bit busy. Kill as many units as we possibly can. You kill the Berserker. The three kit to click on. Oh, we have no pikemen. Okay. So, you guys have to fight here. You can use this. You have also leadership, right? Yeah, we have leadership. But, yeah, you use Carnage. And you use Long March. Oh, there. Is this for every Urukai around you? Let me check. Uh, Ugluk and nearby troops. Okay, ne not only Urukai, but nearby troops. I'm actually curious if this also affects... No, it doesn't affect the Warp Riders. It would be kind of crazy. Imagine that one, you know? Okay, we have seven power points collected. Can we do something with that? We can keep, We can take freezing rain. Um, wait a second. We have enough money for Saruman. That's nice. This way, this then we can pick up the Saruman of many colors. Saruman gets 800 plus health, 50% more spell damage, 10% more movement speed, and powers recharge 25% faster. And his attacks knock down enemies. Holy moly, man. It's like a brand new hero, you know? Hey, hey, hey. Be careful here. What you can do, I can do too, my friends. Oh, he has also trolls from the summon. Oh, my goodness. Lourdes versus Lourdes. May the better Lourdes win. Wait a second. He has also camouflage. Lourdes becomes invisible when idle. That's nice. Kinda. Better than nothing. So fireball with level 1. That's what I like to see. Different picture. That's what I like to see. The trolls are not doing anything from our opponents. That's what I like to see too. Okay. Let's go for a juice with a plus maybe. Come on. Saruman. Pew. Nice. Level almost 3. What's happening here? Lourdes. Is Lourdes that? Oh my goodness, Lourdes died very fast actually. Oh, oh, we need to use Fireball against this. Shark could do something. The Strolls are still remaining on the field for a long time. The Ballistas, wait a second, we have now enough power points for Sauron the Great. You know what time it is, guys? We are able to recruit Sauron for 6,000. Hey, I, I wanted him to... Nah, whatever. I wanted him to use the fireball against the Ballista. Uh, yeah, I mean, we need Berserkers now. The units are so tanky or the towers are just dealing no damage. 
I don't know what it is. We have even level 3 furnaces now, but they are still able to enter the base like that. He wanted to shoot our Saren one. Okay, we have almost every single power point, am I right? So we are only missing freezing rain, tint, and land, and the rain of fire. I mean, rain of fire all alone takes 20, but you can feel the difference or see the difference, right? This game is a bit harder. I mean, of course, we are pretty much playing with no units, but still. The Summon Warcraft is still on cooldown, and he has also the, the Rage with level 8. Maybe we can try to unlock this one. I like this design of Isengard, though. Looks nice. I'm happy that we are playing 1v1, because I believe in a 1v2 or 1v3 situation, we would have no chance. Literally no chance. Trample, trample, trample. Nice. Rage. Rage. Oh, there is also Saruman. Oh, oh, be careful. Ugluk, maybe you can do something against the Saruman. But first of all, this guy has to cripple him down. Oh, but this Ugluk, though, the damage, though. This Ugluk is hitting like a truck, guys. Okay. Wait a second, maybe I don't need to use Fireball here. Uh, you guys peel back. Okay, let's let's peel back with the heroes first. We want we want to wait for Saruman. Do we have devastation again? Yes, we have devastation again. We can use devastation. Almost. Do you see how much value you get from a devastation? That's why it's so good, guys. But that's the reason why it's so good. Okay, let's make combos now. Um, once every single furnace inside our base is gonna be level three, that's gonna be the time for us to shine. Because look at the HP. Even though they nerfed the HP of the furnaces. In this mod, which makes sense because they were just a bit too tanky. Oh, wait a second. It's a huge army here. Okay, Lords. Uh, we have the Warm Tongue with level 4. Oh, I want to I wanna see all the abilities from Saruman. You know, you already know, guys. Wait a second, let's use Zaplas here. You are weak. Fool, level 4. Fight for me. Are they permanent? No, they are not permanent, of course. Would be kind of OP, to be honest. With level 4, you are able to steal permanently the enemy units. Kind of insane. And also, this has like a low cooldown Bloodlust. And it's available with level 1, you know? Very, very nice. I like that. Oh, oh, oh. But Sharku feels a bit too squishy. 1,900 HP. You know what? We're gonna take Freezing Rain and use it. To nullify enemy leadership and to make them a bit a bit weaker. Uh, Saruman, you can maybe use your fireball against this one. We lost one, two, three towers and one furnace, but it's okay-ish. Um, I'm, I'm kind of in a bad spot now because I don't want to demo. Wait a second, you want to fight? I don't want to demolish the furnaces behind for the armory, but I'm gonna demolish this one, I guess. You can use this. Let's build armory now. We need to kill the ballistas as soon as we possibly can. Ugluk! Please don't die. Oh my goodness. I'm playing literally with fire. The ballistas are hurting quite a lot. We have now leadership unlocked. 25% more damage. Armor. The leadership is a bit tuned down in this mod, which is, which is something I'm really happy about. And with level 10, you have the power of Isengard. Wait a second. We are also able to summon trolls, you know? That's nice. Let's do this. Pew! You wanna play rough? The trolls are... And that's why I'm looking for aggressive stance kind of thing in this one, you know? You are weak. Fool! Nice. Level 6. Uh, level 9 is needed. Wait a second! Oh, we have... Oh, look who's here, ladies and gentlemen. Do you see that? Please peel back. Now, we have the leader. Hellfire. Summons a destructive pillar of fire. Okay, I, I don't play defensively with you, my friends. I'm gonna just go for the outpost at the bottom left side. That's, ladies and gentlemen, how the Dark Lord Sauron is looking like. And, uh, yeah, he's not very expensive, too. I wanna see his damage. He's not tanky, too, that much, life-wise, but you are able to one-shot a battalion almost, like that. And this one is the Fury Strike. Throws uh, two fireballs in the target area, so Saruman times two. Let's take a look into that one. Okay. He's not dealing too much damage against heroes, though. This Ugluk might be a problem for us. Let's use this. Summons. 
Oh, it's like a Balrog summon damage. I mean, the animation is pretty much the same. It's like when you are summoning Balrog. Now we have the red lightning. This ballista is so annoying, not gonna lie. Wait a second. Can you, you can you move? I don't want to use uh, this thing for one ballista only, you know? Okay, let's get this and plates and then we are Gucci. Okay, one-shotting, that's nice. Lords, shoots, please. Okay, he's dealing also a lot of damage to heroes. With uh, auto attacks, at least. Our heroes are doing absolutely nothing, of course. Okay, so he's taking a lot of damage. Lords is level 9. Uh, Sauron is level 6. Who now has the strength to face against Sauron and Sauron at the same time? He's also hitting like a truck. With the knockbacks, you see this shielding around him whenever he is attacking, you see? I'm actually wondering if this is able to block damage. Not sure. Um, okay, so let's build some army now. Warfia of Mordor, Warfia of Sau. Okay. Okay. Nice. So, everything unlocked. That means we can demolish the armory. We have 30 power points collected. Actually, Saruman Sar is also like a one-man army here. That's what I like to see. Let's use Fireball. And we can also steal them. I want to steal the Berserkers if I can. There we go. Ballistas? Oh my goodness, Ballistas. Please kill them. Please kill them, Ballista. Uh, I mean, Warp Rider. Level 8? One level away. One level away, guys. Okay, let's build a... Furnace here. The ballista spam is kind of tilting me. Not gonna lie, but it's okay, I guess. I mean, not really, but what am I supposed to say? I see an enemy Saruman, the red. I mean, of course, his name is Saruman of the of many colors. And uh, what is that? Anata, Lord of Gifts, uh, gain control of targeted enemies. So you have double steel. Wait a second. Hold on. I want to use Fireball against this Ballista. Okay, nice. And uh, unbeatable heat. Enemies surround, around Saruman take damage over time. And last but not least, Conjuring of Morgoth summons a Balrog. Okay. So, um, we will have now two combat battalions. It's nice. Let's give them all the upgrades they need. To make them stronger. Lords can join them in the party. So Lords can lead the army here. And we can get with the heroes to the top uh, right outpost. That's the plan. Do we have vision of Palantir? Okay, nice. Okay. So we have also Warchan in the worst case scenario. Oh, you wanna fight? Not against Sharko, of course. Sharko is kind of weak. But Saruman... Oh, Sa Sauron is so slow, though. So slow. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, we can also give them upgrades, right? Yeah, just why not? We have money now, which is nice. And we can get even more money by getting map control. The Sharku is so weak. The Sharku is so weak. Holy moly. He's dying, like, to one single level 3 uh, building. Where are our combos? Let's use War Chant. I don't know why Lourdes not doesn't want to join them. Lourdes, please join them. You have leadership, Lourdes. Leadership is also nerfed uh, big time. Let's dance around to Rosie. This way he'll keep shooting this one combo and the other one can do something. We are taking so much damage. Okay. Let's get this. Give him also upgrades, blades and stuff. This way we can kill stuff faster. Okay, Lords might be in trouble here. Can we summon? We can summon. That's nice. Okay, we can also use Devastation. Let's use Freezing of Rain. Uh, wait a second. Uh, okay, we get we get this one. I want to take a look into that. Rain of Fire. What is this? I don't know what's happening. Huh? What? Oh, oh, lords, 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 be careful. Run for your life. You have level 9 now. That's nice. You can use this maybe. 
is also effective against buildings. Not really. But this is kind of useless. What is this doing? What is this? Fire rains from the sky. That's uh, absolutely lying. It's buggy. It's not working. Uh, that's kind of disappointing, guys. Not gonna lie. 20 power points and then you will get disappointed like that. Uh, okay, he's not dealing too much damage to the buildings either, which makes kind of sense. Okay. Maybe we will need some different stuff. And I will get, in my opinion, the best Isengard uh, melee combo battalion on the field. Yeah, Sauron, Sauron is just like as strong as expected. But I want to take a look into the power of Isengard's. I mean, I believe because of the description it says kill surrounding enemies, it has to be something like the War of Power from Gandalf potentially, am I right? Okay, so let's get this settlement too. We have a combo veteran still alive. I didn't expect this one. We have, I think we are also able to save the other one, right? No? Ah, he died. He died. But it's okay. It's okay. So let's get this one. But we killed the Siege War Exeon, which is very important. This way he can't spam ballistas anymore. So we can build some towers here. Two towers, one furnace. Let's get this settlement too. And let's move down. Uh, Lords can join with this army very soon. Sharku is a hero, a mounted hero, unlike uh, all the other mounted heroes in the game. He is not able to get dismounted. So it's like he is like a... He's like one, you know, with his work. Oh, oh. Okay, let's use this. Okay, he died. <laughs> he died really fast, actually. This guy is killing all our heroes. Come on, don't die. You need to run. Can you? Can I put them inside the city? No, that's not working. The thing with uh, the thing with this guy, I believe, is the problem is that. Okay, I, I'm able to steal enemy units. That's nice. Okay, I was able to save, but we lost Saruman, unfortunately. But it's okay, I guess. Uh, let's group them together. This combo is gonna be taken down, but it, it is how it is. This is very disappointed. Disappointing. Hopefully, that's not gonna happen again. I don't know what the problem was. Let's give them banners, uh, but that's up expensive. You see, Isengard has really expensive units and also upgrades. So let's go to the bottom side real quick. Uh, Sa Saruman died during the cast. He was able to kill the surrounding enemies, but not the heroes, of course. Heroes are harder to be taken down, which makes a lot of sense. And... Uh, because of the, you know, it's I'm I'm used to the images of BFME one, and this industry is looking different in the spellbook. That's why I always forget about that. Oh my goodness, be careful! Is that a ballista again? Holy moly! Um, okay, let's use this one, I guess. That's how it's gonna be taken down. Okay. Doesn't deal too much damage to heroes, but it does decent amount of damage. Oh oh. Oh, oh, okay, okay guys, so wait a second. Let's kill this one first, fireball him. Double fireball, nice. Let's kill this guy next with the unbeatable heat. So he's dealing damage over time. Pew! Nice, he's hitting so hard. Okay, let's use war chant on this unit to make them a bit stronger. There comes Ugluk once again and this guy is scary. I believe Lourdes is no match against him. Come on, attack him, Lourdes. But our units are so strong. Okay, so... Oh, he's one-man army him. Yeah, he's one-man armying himself. You wanna play Wrath? That's not even the Balrog summon yet, trust me on that one. We are waiting for Saruman and then we're gonna go. You already know what's gonna happen. Uh, Lourdes, Lourdes, Lourdes. Please join with the army. We can also use Tainted Land maybe to get some more addition. Nah, we don't need that, but we're gonna use it anyway. Look, they're shining bright like a diamond, guys. Okay, so Saruman is back in the business. That's what I like to see. So, uh, this guy is taking damage, but it's okay. The Ballistas are the ones which are annoying. Can, can I also trample? No, it's not possible. Uh, where is Ugluk? 
Ooglook, I need you. I need Saruman. I need Sauron. Okay, that's the plan. We finally were able to kill the outpost guys, which is great. Let's split, split them up a bit. And then just get uh, the map control. And you can also do something useful and take down on this one. Let's get this. Nice. Okay. Okay, let's use Balrog now. There we go. Okay. So, as Isengard, you have no... Ba he has also Sauron. Yeah, he has also Sauron. Okay. I want, I want to see this. Uh, let's use Fireball. And also Fireball from this guy. That triple Fireball. Okay. You go here and use Breath Fire. Oh, it doesn't deal too much damage. And Ooglook, it's your turn. Okay, buy this Lama Mill too. Buy this. Yes, mines here. Do you see that? <laughs> yes, was putting some mines around this side. Please do something. I like this animation. He killed Ugluk, right? About, about uh, Saruman against Sauron. Uh, but it's not fair. It's not fair. Oh, oh it's not fair now. But guess what? What you can do, I can do too. Oh, 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 oh. Steal them all. Steal them all. Okay, now we have an army ourselves, right? No! You can't steal them. Please, save him. Knock him down. Nice, nice. Please peel, ba peel back. Peel back. Run for your life. Can I also use Vision of Palanti on you? I don't see the animations. Okay, let's use this. Okay, you guys go inside the jeans. Get as much damage as you can. Ugluk got two shotted by, uh, by Saruman. I was expecting him to be strong, but not that strong. Because I was expecting Ugluk to last a bit longer, you know? But it's okay. Uh, kill this. The mines can't be auto auto attack from you know from your units. You need to target them every single time. Okay, let's move down uh, up. We can just get a. I mean, Lamir Mill doesn't make any any more sense, but it's okay because you see there are no trees around our settlement anymore. Um, okay, and I want to take a look into that once again. That feels so disappointed, disappointing. Nothing is happening, do you see that? The enemy. Oh, okay. So you need to double click on it. That makes exa exact same sounds like uh, Fireball from Saruman, but it, it deals way less damage. No damage to the buildings. I believe it should be a bit more bad. A bit ba oh. oh my goodness. What is this damage? Um, I was not paying attention. He got bursted down. Every hero feels kind of a bit weaker, in terms of uh, defense at least, but it's fine, 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 fine. Let's not fight him. Okay, now he should be a bit strong, I guess. We can also summon some stuff, right? We can also summon orcs. It's uh, been a long time since we summoned them. Uh, again, they are not permanent. Only when you summon stuff from your with your hero, these summons are gonna be permanent every single time. And then just make some berserkers, destroy the slime mill next, build the Star Wars once again. Uh, Sauron is healing up. Oh, this guy is losing one v one against a troll man. Come on, he's so weak. I wish he would be a bit uh, more expensive, but a bit more stronger. Maybe it's because he has uh, this and this, you know. But still, he feels like Hobbit to me, really. In terms, you know, in terms of durability, at least. Maybe it's just me, but uh, I don't think he's very strong. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. You are the boss. You are the boss. Even scared into trampling this. This combo is so strong now. Level five, very, very nice. Let's build this mill too. Now our money is, you know, rising to the sky, as you can see and tell. Um, you can also use the station. Just get it on cooldown. Simply, why not? And now, go down. 
I barely lost the second combat battalion. I wasn't paying attention. Do we have any other different units? I mean, this building we already know. Do we have any anything else? Maybe war packs or something? Oh, what is that? Wild, of course, there are some... Yeah, he was getting some white men on the field earlier too. Oh, 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 guys, 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 I'm coming. Wait a sec, hold on a second. Hold on a second. You know what's gonna happen right now, right? Am I right or not? You know what's gonna happen now? Power of Isengard. Ooh, go back to the shadow. You wanna play? I'm level 10, bro. But I, my, my side one is moonwalking. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm microing, out, my, out microing, guys. You see that? And then I'm gonna sit here, steal your units. This way I can let them fight against your own units. Where is uh, this guy? Is also here. Oh, I can also summon now this guy. Ah, I was not taking a look into that, unfortunately, but it's okay. Okay, yes, you use your breath fire now, guys. I mean, Balrog, do your thing. Oh, so we are so strong. Isengard, man, feels strong. Feels really, really strong. Especially Saruman is nice. Sauron, of course, you know, of course, is extremely good. It means we have only one faction left in the showcase, and that is Mordor. I'm wondering when Isengard has Saruman. Uh, I mean, Sauron, what does Mordor have? I have no clue. I have not played this one time just yet. Again, the only faction missing is going to be Mordor. And that's going to be in the next video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you don't want to miss content like this in the future, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Likes are helping quite a lot. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. And as always, stay beyond standards and keep hitting like a truck. Peace.